How are you doing, Hector? I'm doing great. I'm Anthony Rodriguez with the Funky Monkey MMA News. My first question is, how did you get your start with fighting? Um, I started fighting when I was four. <laughs> I was uh, very sick. I suffered from severe asthma. I actually died twice. And my parents were looking for something for me to help me with the sickness. And um, a doctor, a Chinese doctor that was uh, doing acupuncture on me, uh, suggested that uh, he could start me in, in this thing called Kung Fu. And that's how I started when I was four. Uh, and then, you know, I have done it ever since. And from there, how did you know that you wanted to have a career as a fighter? Uh, it was actually kind of um, a, a weird thing because when I was uh, about 14, my master went back to China. And um, by this turn of events, I started fighting on the streets. I have fought, fought illegally for money, uh, which I did that for a year. And one day I sent somebody uh, that actually attacked me with a broken bottle to a hospital. So a cop put me in jail and basically the cop told me that uh, if I continue to do what I was doing, I'm going to end up uh, uh, dead. And he suggested uh, for me to start competing professionally as a, actually he suggested as a boxing, but I didn't like it because I, you know, I'm used to kick and all that. Uh, and so I started when, uh, with kickboxing when I was 14. Awesome. So when did you win your first championship and how did you feel about it? Um, I won in 1986 uh, and it was you know, the, best, the best feeling ever because it was something that I uh, have uh, imagined all my life uh, since I'm four basically. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was really amazing. Awesome. And who were some of your heroes growing up? Uh, my, my hero actually is my dad. Um, I, I really uh, admire and respected my dad and um, we were great friends. He passed away a few years back, but um, he was really, you know, my hero. Uh, he was a great father, he was a great uh, person and everybody admired him, so that was my hero. As you stated on your Facebook that there is a hero inside all of us, do you consider yourself a hero? Um, yeah, I consider myself a hero. I think that we all are heroes. I think that um, um, I, was, I, was, I was saying the other interview, um, I, I draw the, uh, a lot for this movie from people, uh, regular people just going through difficult circumstances, like people you know, losing their jobs, their houses, their car. Um, and, and, I, and, and these people, you know, uh, didn't left their family or uh, didn't left their kid. And I think that those are the real heroes, you know, those are uh, the, the people that are heroes and those are the people I want to imitate, you know. Okay. Were you able to watch the Anderson Silva versus Chris Weidman fight? And what did you think about the knockout? Uh, I, th I thought it was a fantastic knockout. Um, I think he just uh, got Anderson got uh, carried away. Um, I, you know, I, I know him. We we're good friends, and I think it was just uh, something that happened at the spare of the moment. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that Anderson is going to come back. And what do you think about the rematch? I I think that it's going to be an amazing fight. <laughs> Who is one of your favorite fighters fighters to watch, and why? Um, uh, without a doubt. Uh, Anderson Silva, uh, because he's always uh, brings something uh, unique to the fight and he's constantly improving. Uh, so definitely, to me, my favorite fighter is Anderson Silva, although I'm also a good friend with George St. Pierre, and I'm going to have to mention his name, otherwise he's going to beat me up. As a fighter, what made you transition into acting? Um, it was a funny story. I was fighting at the Miami Center and uh, the director of Miami Vice went to see the fight and uh, they wrote a part for me because of that. So that's how I got started. I, I started because of fighting actually. What would you enjoy more, getting in the ring or being on the set? Definitely being on the set because when I'm in the ring uh, you get punched a lot on the face. So you know that's not a... a, a a pleasant experience, um, but definitely on the set. 
Out of all the movies you have produced or starred in, which was the most memorable? Uh, definitely, I think uh, Chavez Gates of Glory is going to be uh, the most memorable movie. Uh, I think it's going to touch a lot of people. It's going to uh, do a lot uh, for people that have been struggling and going through dif difficulties in their life. Uh, it's a movie that has a lot of heart. Uh, so definitely, Chavez Gates of Glory uh, will be the one, I think, to remember. Would you rather act in the movie or direct and produce? Um, that's a tough one. Sometimes uh, you want to you, you wanna direct because, uh, you know, it's an amazing experience. You, you, you take something out of the page and then you see it come alive. But acting, going through the experience is very, very rewarding too. So uh, when I, uh, that's a draw. <laughs> If you had your ultimate movie, who would you choose as your dream cast of actors? My ultimate movie, uh, definitely uh, Danny Trekman and Steven Bauer. Okay, regarding the movie, how do you feel about this movie? I feel amazing. I think, uh, as I said before, it's uh, a movie that's going to that's gonna touch a, a lot of people. It's going to inspire a lot of people. It's going to move a lot of people and I think that that's, that's, that's the movie that you want to see. You want to see a movie that you go and you live there inspired, you know, to, to do something, to be better and uh, Chavez K. Chico is going to do that. As far as the casting goes, what was your process in choosing these actors? Um, it, it's funny because when I wrote it, I kind of wrote uh, the characters with these actors in mind and I was very lucky to be able to get all of them for the, for the film. And how did you come up with a story for the movie? I was um, just uh, analyzing or watching what's happening in society uh, with all the problems, of, uh, financial problems that we're having and um, you know, people losing their jobs. And, and I was inspired by a lot of people, uh, you know, real people that uh, went through hell, basically and how they still managed to pull, put themselves together and put family first and that's what inspired me to the movie. Did you initially plan yourself to be the lead character and if not, did you have other options to cast the role? Uh, no, I basically wrote the movie for myself. This is a, uh, I have done a, you know, a few MMA movies and every time uh, I go to, I have done this for other studios like Lionsgate, so the problem is that the, the the, the executives then step in from the studio and then begin to change the whole movie. And I never done the real movie that I wanted to do, so this is, this is the one. Okay, if there was one thing you could say to the fans about chasing their dreams, what would it be? Never give up, man. Never give up. Awesome. And one last thing. Can you say, I'm Hector with the movie Chavez Cage of Glory, okay. which comes out September. Yeah. And this is the Funky Monkey MMA the funky News. Funky Monkey MMA News. Yes. Okay. Hi, I'm Hector Echavarria, the star of Chavez Cage of Glory in theaters September 13th. And this is Funky Monkey MMA News. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Great question. Thank you, buddy. Awesome. Any questions? Thank you. When is this going to be at?